nice and clear. We got a good view. And once we remove the uh, meter box, we'll even see more. Um, okay, now it's time to uh, remove the meter box. And we're going to start by just removing the uh, access panel to the uh, meter box just to kind of lighten the load when we go to lift this. This is uh, cement. Okay, now we have that out the way. We have uh, good access to the uh, meters themselves and the uh, attachments that we need to uh, change out. I'm not a big fan of uh, PVC piping uh, as far as water service, but uh, I do have to say that this uh, PVC pipe has been here for, uh, I guess, over 20-something odd years, and uh, I'm amazed at how well it held up, so I could be wrong, I don't know, but I'm going to uh, change this out with uh, PEX piping, which I think will be a little more durable. Now, before you uh, go to do anything like this uh, in a municipality or city to wherever you live, you might want to check with uh, some of the uh, locals um, and to make sure that you, because there's certain areas that you, uh, in the country, that you actually can't run PVC or PEX pipe. Uh, uh, everyone has a little code that they follow or a specific um, material they like to use. Uh, in this area, this is uh, this is fine. The PVC, the PEX. Um, and you will see some that's been galvanized. You definitely want to take that out. Definitely. And then we have random to uh, where the uh, they required copper piping from the uh, meter to the house, uh, which would be uh, L copper. And one other thing to keep in mind is that uh, when you do a water service from the meter to the house, um, it's best if you can run that uh, water service completely to the house without any uh, interruptions of uh, fittings, couplings, uh, or anything else that uh, could be in the ground because that will be your uh, weakest link. Well, dug up a small portion there.